Okay, so a lot of times uh, some people have asked me, you know, what has bodybuilding done for me or do you win money when you bodybuild? You know, how does that work? And the honest truth is bodybuilding works as in just like boxing does. It's like any sport does, right? You're amateur at first, you work, you work, you work, and then you become a professional. And when you become professional, you start at the bottom, gotta work your way to the top again. I mean, unless you're genetic elite, okay? I do believe that genetics does play a big part in bodybuilding, but that's a video for a whole nother time. Three things that I know for sure. Three things that I know for sure uh, that are very, that, that you gain from bodybuilding. And the number one most important thing I would say is perspective. And whenever I say perspective, this your outlook on life, uh, business, family, everything. You know, your outlook on a lot of things change. You, you prioritize and you find out what's most, what's most important to you. Uh, perspective is big. You know, your perspective on a lot of things defines how successful uh, you can become or how you deal with failure also because there are wins and losses in bodybuilding uh, Every workout won't be the best workout. So you all you won't be successful every single time, but uh, that's uh, That's part of the process of anything you do in life Number two relationships, right? So whether it's your spouse your boyfriend girlfriend your mom your dad your best friends your friends not every single person that they want you to succeed but not every single person is going to understand what you're going through and what it takes to get towards your goal so uh, for example you tell someone that you want to compete right first of all it's a joke because okay you want to get on stage half naked in front of a lot of people i guess that's okay but the other part is this you know once they see you losing weight they tell you you're looking great it feels good you have motivation you have that fire to keep going you push 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 but at one point at one point, um, as you keep dropping weight and keep dropping body fat to be prepared for a competition, it starts to look unhealthy. Bodybuilding, by all means, is not the healthiest route to choose. Anyone can choose just being overall more healthy, uh, well balanced in their nutrition and their physical activity to uh, you know a little fit lifestyle. You don't have to compete. But at the same time, I do understand that competing is like a, it may be a, you know, on your bucket list, maybe on your bucket list, it may be something that means a lot to you as far as competing because you've been through a lot of things in your life. And that's what's going to help you get towards your goal. So you really got to, you uh, when it comes down to competing, you really have to nail down why, your why. Why are you competing? Because when it gets hard, when you, when you doubt yourself, understanding your why is very important. But that's what's gonna push you to get on that stage, okay? Because not not winning, but just getting on the stage itself is winning, okay? So the relationships you have with people and their opinions about you and so on, it always uh, I'm getting so off subject, but honestly, you're the second part is uh, first was perspective, second is relationships. So your relationships with certain people may change, and whenever that relationship changes, some may stick with you harder, some of them may desert you, you know, because you don't go out with them as much, you don't fun anymore. Uh, you know, they tell you, you know, you need to get a life. This is, you chose this as your life, temporarily or permanently, whatever you choose. But the fact is, this is your passion. This is what you love to do, what you want to do. So you're making a life for yourself. This is your life, okay? If their life is going on and partying, then that's them, guys. But when it comes down to your goals, you got to remember that not every single person in your boat is going to stick on your boat by the, uh, by the time you get to the, they're not going to be on your boat still by the time you get to the island. Some people are going to get off your boat. That's okay because they get off your boat, guess what? You can row faster to get towards, uh, to get to that island, to get to your destination. Uh, less weight, okay? Less weight, less load, no anchor. No anchor. Uh, number three, number three, number three. I would say, honestly, uh, just the satisfaction. All right, the satisfaction you receive from seeing your body transform and you able to do that. And whether you win or lose, once again, once you step on stage, you won, okay, you won. So just the satisfaction of knowing that you accomplished something so hard, because I honestly truly believe that bodybuilding is the hardest thing I've ever done in my life, okay? Because guess what, if you stay up late for long college hours to graduate, to pass an exam, that's fine, but at the same time, damn it, you can eat whatever you want to eat, okay? But you have to do, you know, cardio. You have to train as hard as you can until the day of the show. Uh, when your food levels are low, when your body fat levels are way below uh, your basal, uh, way below your baseline and what you're used to, okay? But way below your homeostasis point, bodybuilding is extremely hard and not just physically. Like I said, you have to deal with 
the way you think about life, the relationships you have, the opinions, you know, the haters, the, the people that critique you and opinionate uh, about your own goals and what you choose to do, you have to deal with all those things mentally, okay? So physically, mentally, and I would say spiritually too, you know, because you have to really tap into the inner you to find out what it takes to get to the next level. But anyway, uh, you know, that's my perspective on, uh, I mean, that's my outlook on what bodybuilding does for anybody, right? Um, I don't know. Leave, leave your comments. You know, I, I think it's time for you guys to start commenting and let me know what you think about it. But that's honestly what my mind is. It's honestly what my mind is as far as the three biggest things. And once again, that's your perspective on everything, which is very big, okay? Your relationships in your life, whether it's family or, or friend, uh, your acquaintances, or if it's, um, what was I going to say, uh, the satisfaction, okay? You receive satisfaction. You know, we all want to be satisfied in one way or another. And I think accomplishing a big goal that you've been working at for weeks and months and weeks and months and maybe years, uh, man, that satisfaction is like nothing else. It can't be defined. All right, so man, Coach B, rebel on. Keep going. Visit us at Gangs Factory here in Baytown. See you soon. Thanks for watching. Oh, and one more thing I forgot to add, a bonus, is uh, I do this as my life, as my passion, you know, this is my business. So for my reward for bodybuilding, my clients, my team, uh, you know, the people in our area, in our area or around the globe, internationally, when they see me accomplish certain things, they see me lead the pack and see me lead by example. And it does enhance my business, obviously, because I bring in more clients. So if someone is a personal trainer, fitness enthusiast, and they do compete and they, they become successful in it, or not, just their transformation, and a few transformations they do for others to get on stage, uh, financially, business-wise, it's very rewarding. It really is. So uh, that's me, you know, in the in the in the fitness realm, okay. But honestly, in all other walks of life and areas of life, if you do something else for business, okay, if you do something else for business, uh, competing can really excel it. Because you find if you can accomplish getting on stage, I guarantee you put your mind to it, you can accomplish anything. Uh, man, just go get it. All right, now I'm really out. See y'all later.